Hey everyone, I'm back again today with another video on how to pick eyeshadow shades that suit your eye colour. I'm doing a look for brown eyes today and this video is a little different to previous ones in the colour series. Now, I'm not an expert on colour theory, I'm not going to pretend to know about it. I'm just going to talk you through kind of my way of looking at it from what I've gathered over the years. Could be wrong, but I think there's logic to it. So, a lot of you pointed out that brown isn't on the colour wheel. Yes, you're correct, on a lot of basic colour wheels, brown won't be on it. A lot of colour wheels consist of primary colours, so blue, red and yellow, and secondary colours, purple, green and orange. And then tertiary colours are gotten from when you mix one of each of those. Brown is a tertiary colour, so for example, if you mix blue and orange, you'll get brown, and if you mix red and green, you'll get brown. So to me, that meant lots of colours would complement brown. To narrow it down, the way I looked on it was that brown is part of the orange family. I mean, there's different shades of every colour, so for instance, if you mix black in with orange, you'll get a warm brown shade. So I'm starting at the orange section, and the blues are opposite. So being that the other two looks were quite bright and vibrant, for the brown eyes look, I'm opting for a navy smoky eye. I was torn between navy and teal, but I've done a teal look recently. Anyway, I'm going to scoot on to the tutorial now. I just wanted to try and explain my thinking behind the shade I chose, so I hope you could make some sense of it. I'm beginning, as always, by applying some of my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Because it's a cream product, I like to use the warmth of my fingers to melt the product into the skin. You could use a brush either to apply the product. It doesn't really matter which method you use, as long as you get the job done. And it doesn't matter what primer you use, again, as long as you get the job done. To set that paint pot in place, I'm taking a translucent powder and I'm just dusting this all over the eyelid and I'm using a fluffy blending brush to do so. Onto the eyeshadow now, I'm going to round off the eyes today for a change and to kick things off, I'm taking this gorgeous brown shade from Stila called Puppy and I'm applying it into the crease. I know some people find this step a bit hard. I think it's easier to do if you keep your eye open that way you can see exactly how far you're blending up the colour and it'll make sure you don't blend it up too high. The star of the show for me is this gorgeous navy shade from Smashbox. Any navy will do though. This one is one of my all time favourite shadows. I just love the finish it gives. I'm packing it all over the eyelid with a flat shader brush. But like a lot of shadows, you'll have to do this a couple of times just to build up the intensity. Then I'm taking a fluffy blending brush with no product on it and I'm just buffing along that edge, the edge of the navy colour, to kind of fade it into that brown that's already in the crease. Moving on to a smaller, more precise brush now, I'm doing a little more blending and I just find a brush like this a bit easier to use, especially for the shape that we're going for today. If you're struggling with the blending part, I know the darker shadows can be a little more tricky to blend than lighter ones. Take your face powder and buff around the edges of the shadow. That way you'll soften them without adding any more colour. Next, I'm taking a black eyeshadow on an angled brush and I'm pressing this along the upper lash line, kind of as a prep step for the lashes. Speaking of lashes, I'm using the Style Posh from Kiss and this is a quite natural lash but I find it still packs a punch. I'm laying down the band in the centre of my eye, just above the upper lash line, and then I'm tacking in the corners. For the lower lash line, I'm using that brown shade first and applying it all the way along the lash line and right into the tear duct. Then with a pencil brush, I'm smoking that navy shade along the lash line too, and it's completely up to you how far you blend this shadow. You can keep it closer to the lash line if you prefer, or smoke it out more like I am. I've just added some black eyeshadow to the outer third of the eye and now I'm using a cotton bud to remove any eyeshadow that's sitting on my waterline. I'm taking NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm lining the waterline with this. Would you believe I actually don't own a cream eyeliner pencil so I'm having to improvise a bit here. But once I'm happy with how the pencil looks then I'm taking my face powder and pressing this on top. And not only will this make the white look more of a cream shade, but it'll also set that pencil to ensure it doesn't budge. I went for a cream on the waterline because I think it contrasts nicely with the darkness of the eye colour. I decided to add a touch of sparkle now, so I'm using this really nice champagne coloured shadow from MUA. 
I'm applying it around the tear duct area, but I'm also taking it up onto the brow bone too, just to add a nice pop there as well. Finally then, I'm finishing things off with a couple of coats of mascara to my top and bottom lashes, and then that's it! So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video!